<clears throat> so uh, halftime uh, in, at Missouri, uh, Tennessee is up 17-10 to 10 on Missouri. Definitely a little bit better than what I uh, expected after that first quarter. Uh, I got a couple of things to say, starting with, uh, you know, uh, the Lutards are going to be happy about this one, but uh, clock management. I mean, come on. What was that? I mean, I'm happy with the field goal. You already know Brett Smaglia, uh, hashtag better than Hot Rod. You already know that he's going to make easy field goals. But there was more than enough time to get a touchdown there. And Jeremy Pruitt just waits to call a touchdown or calls a timeout. I mean, but uh, he waits to call a timeout. And uh, we have to end up settling for a field goal, even though there was more than enough time to try and get a shot to the end zone, even if we weren't going to get that touchdown. Uh, That one kind of confused me. But then uh, run game, piss poor too. Yeah, the the run game, golly. Um, Hey, I give a lot of credit to Missouri's defensive line. They got some good guys on that defensive line, so this wasn't really much of a shock to me, but still, we got to get a better run game. We can't be running for only 17 yards or something like 20 yards per quarter. That's not going to help us win games at all. Uh, I do give a lot of credit to, uh, I mean, of course, you already know, wide receiver game, absolutely phenomenal. I, I will never even talk about how uh, the wide receivers look bad. I've never said anything about wide receivers looking bad the entire year. Every single year, Jawan Jennings, Mar- or, yeah, every single week, Jawan Jennings, Marquez Callaway, uh, both those guys, Josh Palmer, uh, there, then there's more. Uh, all those wide receivers, they bring 100% Week after week, they're the only people on that team that you'll find doing that. I mean, they are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Jarrett Garantano, um, you, you, first of all, you got to love how the announcers keep on saying Jarrett Garantano. Jarrett Garantano. <laughs> Did they just not know how to pronounce his name or something? I don't get that, but... Um, Jared Garantano, slightly piss poor. I was going to do the piss poor thing, but, uh, he, he actually didn't look that bad, but I'll say it one, I'll say it just this once. Jared Garantano is a second half quarterback. He looked pretty bad so far in this first half. I, everybody on Twitter was of course spamming, uh, start Mauer, start Mauer, start Mauer, start Mauer. Even though Mauer was out due to injuries uh, the past couple of weeks. So, I mean, Jared Garantano is the best we got right now. And he's done pretty well. You know, I always try and look for the benefit, for like all the benefits, and I always try and find the good out of uh, basically every part of Tennessee. And I'm finding the good right now with Jarrett Garantano. He did help us uh, to get a couple of those touchdowns. But, of course, wide receiver play, phenomenal as usual. Run game, got to get better. And uh, clock management, that that's also – that. I mean, you also got to work that out too. We can't end up being like less miles. So, yeah, those are my halftime thoughts. Uh, we're up by a touchdown. We just got to continue pounding on that Missouri defense. They're going to get tired eventually. We got to keep pounding on them and get this game over with. Bowl game is number one. Vandy is number two. Remember that. Listen, we're going to beat Vandy by 150 no matter what. But we, I, my expectations for this season was seven and five. We got to win these two games to get to that. Can Tennessee do it? They're up by seven at the half. I will see you guys at the at the end of the game to give you my thoughts. Beep beep.